Well, this is the reason I got the uh, the upgrade. We're gonna be playing Final Fantasy 16. It's not during the launch at all. This is like about a month after the fact, so there's no spoilers. It means people are more likely to want to watch it. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, anyway, if you're watching later on YouTube, thanks for clicking. I'm sorry, it's, I just finished Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga, and the last fight just, uh... Man. Um, what language do you prefer? English? I guess Final Fantasy has pretty good voice acting. I, I, I guess, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the, uh, de facto standard is with this game. Do people go Japanese? I'll just, I'll just stick to, to, uh, to this, it's fine. Um, graphics or frame rate? I feel like frame rate's probably better. Like, look, it's gonna, uh, uh I'm so indecisive, I can change my mind later. Story focused. Begin the game equipped with several accessories that simplify gameplay. Recommended for those who are less comfortable with action games and want to focus more on the story elements. Begin the game with standard equipment. Um, I want to chill. And the last time I played a Final Fantasy game was like with lightning. So it's been just a ridiculous amount of time. Since I last touched one of these games. Right, I'm going to dim the lights. Moss the Chronicler. Who said that the land of Alistia is blessed in the light of the Mother Crystals. And that it was this light which finally led our forebears out of the darkness. Yet, what they saw in the light gave rise to temptation. Temptation that ever lures us back into the crystal shadow. And thus did our journey begin. Ooh. Never played Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy has changed in game style in a very... Uh, very distinct way. It used to be like, pretty much like Mario Superstar Saga, you know, turn-based RPG. And then it kind of changed a bit, where it's like more action combat, and now I think it's even changed again, so. But it's this, the series is known for its its cutscenes and story, so it's very heavy on story. Um, from what I've heard of this game, you don't need to know about it too much to be into it. Okay, apparently I'm, I'm in. Um, and it does a good job of explaining stuff, so. And... We get to experience this... ...in the super high quality, so hopefully it looks good. 1440p! Oh, thank you! Thank you, PlayStation, for notifying me that the game that I'm playing is installed! <laughs> Stupid notification.
Hey guys, I think I'm playing Final Fantasy 16. I don't know. I'm hoping a notification will tell me. It'll be light soon. Both camps have begun to stir. You all know the target. Shiva's dominant. And only the dominant. No one else. Where's the fun in that? How do we even know the girl will be among them? Our kind do not question orders. We follow them. Try to keep that in mind. Let's get this done. Magic. I mean, man, this is like... The quality of, of the world right here. Focus, Wyvern. You are key to this mission's success. Yes, Sergeant. I said focus, Wyvern! Okay. Look at the views. We don't have time for this. All hell is about to break loose. I love how the tutorial is like trying to explain things to me, and this dude's like, Don't have time for this! Listen, rookie! Get your ass through the door! Time to move. <laughs> We're just in time. Chicobos! narration I, I want to watch <laughs> Look, i'll i'll talk when i'm ready to no but like i, I want to watch it's, it's like a movie Through the gates. Quickly. Move. what do you mean you refuse should I just pull out my phone and make a phone call just to, to simulate the experience of someone talking during a movie? Come now. Hey, yeah, yeah, it's me. Yeah. No, 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 I can talk. No, no, I'm just I'm just watching Final Fantasy. It's fine. No, yeah. You're kidding. Really? No. <laughs> Fancy. I 
I wonder that you summoned us at all. Have you so little faith in your own men? It was the Dalmex who drove back the Crusaders in the Battle of the Twin Realms, was it not? Or am I mistaken? Besides... Your dominant has yet to take the field. And when he does, our knights would only get in the way. Perhaps you have not heard, but the Iron Blood now have their own dominant. We would be fools to underestimate them. Bugger their knights. What did you say? Should this citadel be allowed to fall? Holy shit, the sky's massive. The capital will lie exposed. If his skin was blue, he'd be Thanos. And I doubt the Crusaders will wait for the good king's pawns to line up before taking to the board. His bicep is like the size of that guy's head. Which just leaves me. Hoka! The Iron Blood will rue the day they set foot on Storm. This game is over. I am inevitable. Said cock. Benedict. <laughs> oh, okay. Take care. Does the lion take care when he chases the hare? Or do you think me one of the latter? No, my love. You are a lion. You're my lion. <laughs> I'm not afraid of a little frost. It would appear this game is a bit more gritty than uh, the previous entries, huh? Me when I come home. <sighs> also that name, I wonder if she's gonna betray anyone. <laughs> like... Her name may as well be Backstabia. This is our chance. The chaos will conceal us. Have I ever done Classic Tomb Raider? Uh, never really tried the series, to be honest. Just wasn't up my alley when those games were out. Don't know how well they've aged. So this is more platformy than... And? Quick and deadly. As always. <sighs> Take the van. I would assume this has gotten kind of like the treatment that God of War got, just like a slight reinvention of how the game functions. Something's not right. I mean, at least now the games have reached the point where they show these cutscenes and then the gameplay matches the cutscene. It used to be a case of like, it would show a cutscene and then the gameplay would be nothing close <laughs> to what the cutscene was depicting. Oh wow, that looked cool.
No, not the big chickens. Move! I want to know how to do that. one day the only thing missing here is just the audio being like surround sound me being able to scream the surround sound audio i think that's where I, like the experience is lost a little because in my headphones it sounds awesome but it's not going to come out that way for the recording before you do not get to die here man i like how they did that the blur Brother. as to not show the body up close in the past. Well, if you're not cut out to be a shield, there's always work for you in the stables. Unless, of course, you think you can defend your master while sat on your ass in a puddle of pig swill. I'm sure he'd find a way. My brother always looks after me. <laughs> right? Go on. You're sure to hit him eventually. Don't give up now. <laughs> I hope we can pet that. That decides a good game these days. It wouldn't do to disappoint the gallery. Let's start again from the beginning. Come, show me your form. Oh no, yeah, this is- this is completely different. This is more action instead of like a turn-based thing. Mm -hmm. 
Once more, please. Hmm, interesting. Such swordsmanship will serve you well in the field. But can the same be said of your spellcraft? The flames of the Phoenix burn within you. Now let them burn without. Come, Clive. Rain fire down upon me. In a flame. Triangle to cast fire, rain spell that can strike from distances. Coming. Okay. Well done. You wield the Firebird's flames just as a first shield should. You flatter me, my lord. Or would you rather I flattened you? Can be arranged. Let's see if you can elude my blade. After all, your attacking prowess will count for naught if you don't live long enough to use it. On your toes, Lord Rossfield. I want to evade. Evading an attack at the precise moment it is will temporarily slow the enemy. Come on! How did you dodge that? I was sure I had you. That was amazing! That's cool. As to the purpose of this exercise? Nice try. They make parrying feel really good. Good. Remember, Clive, your blade is not your only weapon. Quickness of thought and fleetness of foot are indispensable arms in any shield's arsenal. But you are not just any shield, are you? Show me what sets you apart from the rest. You have been blessed by the Phoenix. Granted the use of its power. Call upon that power now to close on you. Well, okay. I'm waiting. Like an alt. Close the gap. Swiftly. Okay. Was it all our shields could move so swiftly? Impressive. But even the most this is this is the right way to do a tutorial. Like making it pretty seamless with the story. As easily as it comes by a thousand. There is only one way to ensure that you do not fall. Keep your wounds mended, and your. So it would make sense if, like, you know, him as in in the future would be learning stuff. I like that they've made it a flashback to his youth. Now that won't do at all. Heal. Consumables. Oh, D-pad. Okay. Consumables can be assigned via items. Got it. That'll have to be for now. That's better. Battle is a succession of pivotal moments. Wherein life and death can be decided at a single stroke. You must be ready to utilize every tool at your disposal if you are to navigate a path to victory. Or at the very least, to ensure that you live to fight another day. Enough practice. It's time for the test. You've recovered from your soaking, I trust. You wouldn't want to kick a man while he's drowned. I thought you'd never ask. Come then, Lord Rossfield. Spar with me. If you believe you're okay. worthy to be called Shield of the Flame, then prove it. As you wish, my lord. How that, me boy. Make proof of your strength. The music, man. Just always on point for this series. The will gauge indicates an opponent's will to fight back. Break their spirit by landing attacks. 
Okay. Go on. You're sure to beat him this time. You can do it, Clive. Uh -huh. You're taking this seriously. Keep going, Clive. <laughs> Staggering your enemies. Lord Murdoch's will has been broken, leaving him staggered. Try dealing as much damage as he can before he gets to his senses. R2 and circle to execute rising flames. A powerful a a conic ability? Okay. I think I automatically used it because it's on cooldown. <laughs> the fanfare. That's awesome. That's cool. He won. See, I told you he could do it. Hi. Did at last. It's taken me long enough. That was a display worthy of your father. You are a true shield of the flame, and let no one tell you otherwise. Including me. What are you lot gawping at? Back to your drills. Phoenix's flames are a gift. You mustn't waste them. It isn't a waste. My shields look after me. Why shouldn't I? <laughs> That's why. You were coughing this morning, too. You shouldn't be outdoors. I'll be fine. It's just a cold. Don't push yourself. His grace has returned! Father's back! Hey! <laughs> Your Grace, please. Uh, this is no place for one such as you. I would gladly brave. Man, the face, the facial expressions. My darling boy. Uh, I gotta say that they're on point. Gentlemen, Rosaria thanks you for your indefatigable loyalty. Thank you, Your Grace. We live to serve. It's alright. It's it's only taken like a few Joshua. years to get to the point where. We have PS5 games, it's like, okay, now it's like worth getting a PS5. We have Not that it wasn't before, I'm really happy with my PS5. Sorry. It makes playing PS4 games a lot better, but you, now we have like a big reason. With games that you can only really play on it. Come, Joshua. Your father will be expecting us. What was with that? Jeez. Hmm. She doesn't like me, apparently. Lord Murdoch. Your Grace. What a way to treat your own flesh and blood. Because we're a commoner. No, it's not his fault. Not everyone can be born the Phoenix. We should join them. Sword's not big enough. <laughs> I mean, proportionally, that's that's a pretty normal sword. I was expecting, I don't know, something a, a bit thicker than that.
fancy Chocobo. Thank you, Joshua. You are well, I trust? Yes, Father. Much better. Today, June and I went to the bay to watch Clive Spa. Is that so? Quiet. Aww. Stop it, boy. Not now. He'll make a fine hound one day. He just wants pets. Father. Oh wait, so we're in the family? Thank you, Your Grace. Then like what was that? <laughs> I kinda missed that. The capital rejoices at your safe return, Your Grace. Why is mom just so weird with us? War is coming, my boy. We must make ready. Is the situation truly so grave? Come to the throne room. We will talk there. Yes, father. Maybe stepmom. Potentially, yeah. That's possible. Good call. I've just never understood that whole thing where, like, just... The step-parent is just that disconnected with a child just because it's not theirs. That's such a weird mentality. you're going hmm? Clive here is off to see the Archduke right sunrise sunset should you find yourself lost hold down l3 and Trust in your animal instinct to point you in the right direction. Your current destination will be displayed with that marker. Is trouble brewing? I'm not sure. I need to speak with Father. Oh yeah. Okay. That's cool. I like that. It faces you in the right direction. All right. Let's get this. Like all the Duchess calls for our heads. Right, you are. How massive is this? The Phoenix will be with us. Oh, sad, Jesus. Man, this looks awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, especially if you're getting into a relationship and you know that they have a kid, you know what you're getting into. <laughs> exactly. Pray do not concern yourself with this bungling car. Bow to him, you <laughs> it's not just that, like, I just... I say to speak. The stupid belief that the concept of family is just tied by blood is such a dumb mental state. It was no trouble. It's like, you could have someone that is related to you by blood, but is a horrible person. And someone that is, like, a perfectly decent human being, just because they're not related to you by blood, you can't consider them your family. It's, it's stupid. Treat their bearers half so well. He was lucky to be born in your father's Which seems to be the case with this guy, like, he, he seems very timid and... Every day. ...polite. Stand. Please. Like, doesn't, doesn't have an arrogant attitude at all. Start. I trust his good fortune will continue. Of course, if that is your lordship's wish. Don't work too hard. Remember, it is for the good of the duchy that you serve. As do we all, my lord. As do we all. Come along now. Back to your duties. <laughs> I wonder how old he's supposed to be here. Like a teenager? Okay. Looks 
like they're getting ready for supper. <laughs> I think someone's hungry. Nice and quiet in here, isn't it? There's Joshua. I was expecting a load screen. Clive? I... Are you worried about the war? The soldiers will expect the Phoenix to help them. But I don't know if I can. Don't worry, Joshua. Father will guide you. And I will protect you. Always. I know. Thank you, Clive. You know, so far... Uh... Doesn't look good for the kid. Just a lot of if this is following, I guess, storytelling convention, it's a sick kid, and then we have this line where it's like, we'll always protect them. All other concerns are insignificant. Yeah. Hey, mom. Or stepmom. Maybe this is why she doesn't like me. Just flat out ignored me. <laughs> Good luck. Aww. You commanded my presence, Your Grace. How may I serve you? All right, you can stop licking my boots. Your mother isn't here. Do the territories fare any better? Most lie under a pall of black. In just these few moons, the blight has taken nigh on all. Maybe the mother's just old-fashioned, I guess. It is only a matter of time before it crosses the border. By the flames. Nearly every available bed in the capital is already occupied by those fleeing the deadlands. Even if we were to send them south to Port Isolde, more would only follow in their wake. Every day we delay brings us closer to disaster. We must move now. Against the Iron Kingdom. We have traded blows with them for too long. It is time to end it. At the very least, we must secure Drake's breath. Without the blessing of the Mother Crystal, we cannot defend our realm from the spread of the Blight. The Iron Blood will not relinquish it easily. This will be a bitter fight. We ride for Phoenix Gate tomorrow. There we will listen to the words of our ancestors, as tradition dictates. Am I to go with you as Joshua's shield? There is something else I would have you do first. Rodney. You will have heard the reports, I am sure, of beastmen from the north being sighted within our borders. Goblins in the Stillwind Marshes. I know of the rumors, yes. Then you know what must be done. I will give you two good men. While we ride north tomorrow, you will journey to Stillwind, search it, and clear it. Then you will join us at Phoenix Gate. It is time to prove your strength and shut your mother up for good. Hmm? <clears throat> More? Well, yeah. I'm, I'm curious as to what her problem is. See your grace. Assuming we ever find out. That will be all. Rest well. We ride at dawn. Yes, Your Grace.
Active time law. Hold. Wait, hold this active. Act, hold to access active time law. A compilation of important information relevant to Clive's current storyline progression. ATL can be viewed during most cutscenes. Oh. Okay. A nation occupying the western reaches of the continent of Storm with Rosalith as its capital. Rosaria was originally formed from a collection of smaller dominions, all of which stand now united under the banner of Archduke Elwyn Rosefield. Not possessing a mother crystal of its own, the duchy has now been locked in bitter conflict with the Iron Kingdom over possession of Drake's Breath, which lies further to the west. What is a mother crystal? Enormous glassy mountains, five of which tower over the lands of Valicia. They are the source of all the crystals that the people of the twins rely on their everyday lives. Not only that, but the lands surrounding them are rich with ether, making the magics the crystal cast even more potent. For those reasons, great nations have sprung up around each mother crystal and have long warred with each other for possession of their blessings. Okay. Father, Elwyn Archduke of the Grand Duchy of Rosaria and father of Clive and Joshua, loved by people, by his people for his steadfast leadership, both at home and on the battlefield. He put to good effort, effect in quelling the rebellious Northern Territories. Okay, it says father to Clive and Joshua. If there's multiple children, then the step-parent thing checks out. The Iron Kingdom, the people that were at war with, also known in the local tongue as the Hieron. The Iron Kingdom is an archipelago nation situated off the west coast of Storm, with its capital at Krieg Lo Jeez, I can't read these names. Krieg Lois. Lois. <laughs> Lois, I almost said Lois Gate, but like, how the how do you pronounce that word? Anyway, the Mother Crystal, Drake's breath rises from a volcanic island situated just within or without its borders, depending on whom you ask, and has been the subject of long-standing conflict between the Iron Blood and the neighboring Duchy of Rosaria. The Iron Kingdom's inhabitants shun. Any contact with the Iron Kingdom's inhabitants with outsiders, which has given rise to a unique, if largely inward looking culture. <laughs> hey, Lois. Remember the time I couldn't read the shit in Final Fantasy 16? Upstairs. I would love to see text-to-speech try and pronounce that. In fact, you know what? What, what was it again? Okay. Hold on. Okay, I'm gonna do English to English. Can I pick English to English? Yes. Okay. Um, what is it? It is... I'm writing it in there. And then... L-O-I-S-G-T-E. Alright, read it. Krieg Lois. Krieg Lois? Krieg Lois. Lois. <laughs> Apparently that's how you say it. I'm keeping that open. Krieg Lois. 
Jeez. All right, there you go. Ah, uh, that's what it says. Here we go. How long will you be away this time? Not long. Four days. Maybe five. And you will be taking Joshua? Well, I can't exactly leave him behind, can I? The blood of the Rosfields runs in his veins. Before going to war, we perform the rite at Phoenix Gate. It's our way. You know that. And only the dominant can enter the apothecary. So yes, I'm taking Joshua. Oh, to hell with your way! The boy is ill. You think I don't know that? But the boy is also the phoenix. The heir to the throne. You can't keep him in swaddling clothes all of his life. Elwyn! Don't worry. Clive will watch over him. Though he is a youth of but 15 years, okay, he's already 15. a fine soldier. He will make a splendid shield. You see more in him than the Phoenix did. He was rejected, Elwyn. Our household has no place for such a failure. He is uh, a man like any other. Okay. As am I, my dear. <laughs> Nonsense. You are the Archduke of Rosaria. Well, not this again. You know as well as I do that I only sit upon the throne because my father was taken before his time. I am merely warming the seat till Joshua comes of age. You are your father's firstborn son, and you sit upon the throne. All is in its right place. Unlike some, you have not disgraced our noble blood. Right, okay. Like Clive to keep us so she's safe. pompous. Your precious noble blood. Would long since have graced the gutter. We have an early start. I'm going to sleep. Okay, so now it makes sense. Sees him as lower class. You prove yourself. Wishing on a star. That facial detail. I'm a little old for that. I should get some sleep. Right. You're going with them tomorrow, aren't you? I am Joshua's shield. I'm sworn to protect him. He takes too many risks. I only wish I could save him from himself. Clive, you... I have another mission too. Father has given me my first command. Well, if you're not going to pray to Metia for your safe return, I shall just have to do it for you. There's going to be another war, isn't there? Since coming here, I've begun to take peace for granted. I assumed the war between our nations would be the last. But it never really ends, does it? No. The 
next war will be bigger than before. But you'll be all right, won't you, Clive? You're a shield of Rosaria, after all, and blessed by the Phoenix. It's getting cold. We should go in. My lady. <laughs> Good night, Clive. I keep forgetting that there's the feature to, uh, to bring up stuff. Like... Okay, so... That's useful. If something pops up that I don't understand, I can just do that at any time. Okay. Sorry, Ambrosia. I won't be hunting today. Don't worry. I'm sure you'll do brilliantly. Mm, I'll try. <laughs> Good luck. So what, I'm very appreciative right now that, like, I'm just mainly watching. <laughs> It's letting me unwind from the from the Mario stuff. May the blessing of the crystals go with us. And shield the fireless flame forever. Uh, it's definitely like a movie. His grace departs. Open the gates. Lord Rossfield, allow me. I shall see her safely to Phoenix Gate. Thank you. We're ready to depart, my lord. Now for soldiers, they have very, very clean faces. <laughs> Those two in particular, like... This is to be not, investigation. not very, uh, what's the word? They won't leave willingly. The beastmen are like a fierce smooth thing. skin, not, estimate them at our peril. no effects of, like, not sun, or battle scars, gruff, yeah, so gruff's right. probably the word. So, Tyler, so you know what I mean, like, people that have been out in the sun for too much, they kind of have, like, leathery skin. To the marshes, then. With him, he makes it makes sense. He's a rookie. He's a teenager. Oh wow! The world map displays all the locations indicated by glowing pins currently available to Clive via fast travel. Okay. That kind of this map kind of reminds me a little of Game of Thrones. It just needs the text over it. Keep your eyes open for those goblins. The reports placed them in this area. It's all swamps from here. Watch your step, my lord. <laughs> and everything else.
Lost in a fog. Support accessories such as the Ring of Timely Strikes or the Ring of Focus can be changed or equipped. Find a conversation that best suits your playstyle. The Attributes tab provides a comprehensive overview of Clive's level, status, abilities, and gear. Okay. The Gear and Icons tab is used for equipping weapons and armor, as well as assigning iconic abilities to slots. Ability points can be spent in the Abilities tab to acquire new abilities as well as upgrade existing ones. If you are satisfied with Clive's current build, reset... Oh, unsatisfied. Reset and try again. There's no penalty for doing so. Okay. Right, dealing damage and the other one's breaking will. Okay. Wait, I have 50? Oh, no, I see. It's like, it's a cost associated with it. I'll probably go sword. Yeah, let's learn this. This seems useful. Okay, not quite, but not exactly the most well maintained path. And who do you imagine would maintain it? They've all fled from the blight. that anyone used to live here. The old village of Stillwind is ahead. Not that there's a lot left of it. Okay. I like this feature where you can just focus to where you're supposed to be going. There's no need for a map, so that's good. I don't know, I, I see... Look at their arms, their arms make sense. They look a bit weathered. But their, their faces are just way too... way too clean. They need more scars. I don't think they need scars necessarily, just like tan, maybe just speckled skin. Maybe a little dirt. Okay, the combat is very fluid. So the reports were true. We should press on. There may be more ahead. Greasy. Yeah, I mean, even the hair, right? Like, just a little more rough on the hair. Not perfect haircuts. Welcome to Stillwind. Have care, my lord. Again, with this guy, like, with Clive, it makes sense because he's, like, of the royal line. So, of course, he'd be a little more pampered. But, dude, one of the guys looks cleaner than Clive. Like, this guy. Just baby face. <laughs> There's more. Some enemies will drop loot or gill automatically by approaching the glittering icon. All right.
Does it auto equip? Yeah. Non gear in class possession. Uh, press square to ring out the shortcut window. Okay, got it. Oh, cool. Yeah, I've already got potions. Alright, that's fine. I notice the butterflies, but I want to look in the shacks as well for items. This looks so good. I'll say it again, but like, just visually great. Watch out, my lord. Some of their number of spells. And what a number. We'll all have our hands full here. And no, PS PS5 is great. Like, not only are the games on PS5 good, but it's just there's so many excellent PS4 games that are cheap now, and it just plays them a lot better. Some of them have enhancements if you play them on the PS5. So it's it's a really good time to have it. And you can actually find them now. They're not ridiculously expensive because of scalpers anymore. If this is if this was a game that launched with the PS5, I feel like it would have been even more harder to get one than what it was. Like this is this is a console seller with the timed exclusive. It'll come to other stuff eventually, but you know. I could do voice acting for, like, I'm goblins. He's the leader. But we'll have to take care of his followers first. Care to thin the herd? As if you have to ask. <laughs> And there was one. Uh, shit! He's in fight to the front! <laughs> On your feet, Sir Wade. Here it comes. Larger enemies must be faced with caution. They have more HP than their smaller counterparts and will often use devastating abilities to overwhelm their opponents. Use the Blessing of the Phoenix to not only deal considerable damage to these enemies, but also break their wills. Breaking an enemy's will will stagger it, leaving it to act vulnerable. <laughs> she. I love that reference to the Lyle. Okay. 
Completely reducing an enemy's will. We'll stagger it. Extra damage is dealt when an enemy is fully staggered, increasing with each strike landed up to a maximum of 150%. Okay. I said I wouldn't play the Hogwarts game, right? Yeah, I'm not really interested in Harry Potter. I, I just, I know nothing of it, and just, yeah, I, I would get nothing from playing that game. Like, I'm not really interested in the Harry Potter universe. Oh, no fanfare. Okay, auto does stats. Following important battles, a separate result screens will appear displaying battle performance and rewards. Rewards are based. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure the, the game looks good, but to me, it's like beyond that. It's I have to have an interest in the uh, the material. You know, the, though I don't play every Final Fantasy game, I, I do enjoy them. I've played a few in my time. Gear can significantly improve player attributes, but only when equipped via the gear tab in the main menu. Similarly, the right abilities can turn the tide of battle. But only if learned and mastered via the abilities. Okay. Hold on. I'm gonna unlock this. Okay, so square and X to swiftly close in and attack a distant enemy. Okay, that works. There he is. I was trying to use lunge, but it wouldn't let me. There we go. Fake event scripted. Couldn't ever catch it. Bring up the thing. I was gonna say. That thing's breath is worse than its bite. That reeks. He said, stay away from its mouth. Oops. Yeah, I'm not really using magic. Your guess is as good as mine. Oh shit. Cinematic strike. When the screen flashes blue like this, 
Press square before the time runs out to deliver a devastating blow. I mean that that looks cool. No! Before it recovers! Oh man, this music is so good. Cinematic strike again. Cannot fall here. Cinematic evasion when the screen pro oh red to evade. Oh shit! Now for the final push, my lord. This is like. Dopamine hit after dopamine hit with that. Do we get a dramatic finish? Down with you. Nope, okay. <laughs> I love that. That would have been cool. No spoils, apparently. I'd see it. Not just goblins in Rosaria, but morbles too. I'll petition his grace to send a detachment. If we don't stop them here, they'll be at our gates before long. We should get moving. We don't want to be caught out here after dark. If we set off now, we can still reach Phoenix Gate before nightfall. I mean, okay, I, I can see there's like a little texture on the face, but I think it just overall looks too smooth. Damned blight. I thought I was going to wake up again and eat one of them. I wanted it to go dark. <laughs> Sometime later. Suddenly, thousands of red eyes. No, wait till you hear this. Wait till you hear this. His lordship draws his sword. The goblin chief runs off screaming. Straight down our mama's gullet. <laughs> More tales. Drink and be merry, boys. Work on the morrow. Must be gratifying to see your student making such a name for himself. Oh man, that mate. The young lord has a bright future ahead of him. Aye, and one of these nights he may even deign to join us. Look at that tiny 
tiny fork. Father, just a little tired. Well, it has been a long day. They all like Clive, don't they? It looks Clive? like it's for lobster. <laughs> Your brother will be a fine shield. We're all very proud of him. No, we're just not refined, not an upper class. But we don't use their fancy forks. Why is it? Dominus is always born into our family. Doesn't seem fair. We cannot live without the blessing of the crystals. And the crystals work their magic through us. You have been blessed, Joshua. Blessed to be a dominant. To wield the power of an icon. Okay, hold on. Dominant. Those within whom sleeps the power of an icon. Though they look and think no differently to any other man or woman, they cannot only cast elemental magics without a crystal, but also transform themselves into beasts of world-shattering strength at any moment, a quality for which they are honored, worshipped, and feared in the realm. Okay. Um, let's read about the kid. Second son of the Archduke of Rosaria, Joshua was appointed heir to the Ducal throne by his awakening as the dominant of the Phoenix. His love and admiration for his elder brother Clive is absolute, and he is too proud to have him serve as his first shield. His love for carrots? Less so. Okay. Doesn't like carrots. Um... The Phoenix Gate, where we are, a walled keep situated near Rosario's northwestern border. It was originally constructed to serve as an outpost in the wars against the Northern Territories, but its true significance lies deep within the ruins atop which the stronghold stands. Here, in an ancient chamber, accessible only to the dominant of fire, is held the rite of ancestral communion, an important ritual in which it is believed that the Phoenix can hear the words of the Duchy's forebears. Okay, so it's for him. Uh, the army. They serve under the standing army's Lord Commander, whose task is to enact the will of the Sovereign, the Archduke. Those who show sufficient aptitude or who are blessed with sufficient nobility of birth are made shields, personal retainers to the Archduke himself. Right. I think that's it. Apparently there's more. Okay. Right. Elwyn was born before his father, the previous dominant of the phoenix, passed away. Wait. So he did not inherit the icon's powers. Instead, he, he devoted himself... Hang on, I'm trying to read what it says. He was born before his father passed away. Right, okay. So therefore didn't get anything. So just became a swordsman and a leader that he might lead his country from the front, which he did not. He did to wide acclaim in leading to it. All right, got it. Um, Our family has been chosen to share that power with the people. I like this feature. So that is what we must do. It's neat. I mean, Like a Dragon had it a little bit, but this seems a bit more polished. Friends, 
to play something yes. Jill, she'll be wondering where you've got to. So much for you being a fine hound. It definitely does remind you of Game of Thrones. Yeah, getting a little bit of the vibes though. So this is where you've been. I'm sure it's nowhere near as gritty, but. What are you doing out here? I didn't see you at the feast. <laughs> we just call him Bran. Oh uh, dear. I've never really been one for cakes and ale. It's the vegetables I don't like. <laughs> I hear you slew a marble. All the men were singing your praises. They never used to. When I joined the ranks, I wonder if any of the new Star Wars games are good. If I didn't know how to He's like Jon Snow. I mean, in terms of being unaccepted by the parent, sure, but he's not a uh, like it's not the same scenario as Jon Snow, but may as well be. That's not true. They don't believe in me. They believe in the powers that don't. I would love a Star Wars game. That's kind of. Like in this style, you know? My brother the Phoenix. Very good visually, like this. Isn't and fair. fluid combat. It have been you. I don't have what it takes to lead our people. Or Lord of the reason. Rings. Unfortunately, the, the, the last Lord of the Rings game that launched was Gollum, and uh, I'm waiting for them to add that to be free, because it's it's a massive meme at this point. Like, it is just... Such a dumpster fire of a game, but I, I'm kind of morbidly curious. the dominant is the Archduke of Rosaria. All to ensure that whenever our nation stood on a precipice, the Phoenix would rise from the flames to drag us back from the brink. The fate of Rosaria sits on the dominant shoulders. It is your duty to bear that burden. What about you? I was born to be your shield. That is why I was given the Phoenix's blessing. To keep our future rulers safe. No matter what. However hard it gets. I'll never let you down. Thank you, Clive. That's I like... Always take care that's, of me. that's some epic foreshadowing. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> Whenever you have too many conversations that have this sort of sentiment, it's like... He's gonna die. <laughs> That's just... At some point, this kid will die. Whether now or an, an adult. Like... Good night, Toggle. That's just such a trope. I will always defend you. And first to go. <laughs> well, we'll see. It could subvert ex expectations. You never know. from the capital. You took your time sampling the wares, were you? <laughs> Trojan horse. It's a good job the North is full of enterprising traders keen to keep us in wine. Oh, 
All right, I was not expecting that. Jeez. Oh no, yeah, this is this is definitely way more gritty. Secured, Captain. We proceed as planned. Forgive me, my prince. It's me, Wade. You probably don't remember me. I remember. What is it? We're under attack. I don't know who they are, but they've set light to half the castle. I must get you to safety, your highness. Very well. I'm ready. Follow me, your highness. Oh. I'm playing as a kid. Um... It's weird, this game is not rated, like, the highest rating. Interesting. Oh, that's cool. Are the enemy already inside the I thought it was gonna be R18. This kid has no stamina. Oh, okay. What's it rated? Uh, it's like the second highest. MA-15. That's what it is in Australia. It's like, you know... I'm trying to think of the equivalent for American rating. I have to help them. Ours goes G, P, G, M, MA-15, and then R. Which is like, restricted for 18. <gasps> and over. And then X, which is like basically pawn, and triple X, which is hardcore pawn. I bet, it, I bet it's a thing where, like, the violence isn't the problem. I bet if it had, like, nudity or a sex scene, it would be immediately, like, an R. It's just one of these things where you could show a throat getting cut. But the moment you show tits or, like, you know, anything along those lines, it's just, like, immediately R rating. This kid is, I mean, I'm sure he'll he'll get better. Just right now, 
he does one attack and then he's just winded. Tyler! Okay, we'll see. I, w I wanted him to be a bit more gruff. There we go. That's gruff. His wounds are deep. I can save him. Your, your Highness, I, I... He's a backstabber. Don't worry. You're going to be all right. <laughs> I'm just waiting for a plot twist like one of them's a betrayer. Straight for the rear gate. Just there has to be a betrayal. On the lost Alan, to a son Gelif. May the winds speed you to Rosalith. <laughs> but that would have been really loud. The north gate up ahead. There are chocobos in the stables. Father, take Joshua and get to safety. No, I'm not going without you. You're supposed oh my to God, my kid. Shield, remember? I remember, which is why I'm going to hold the enemy here while you make your escape. I will order our remaining forces to rally at the gate. Now go. Hmm. I will do my duty. You must do your duty too. I... I know. You have to keep father safe. I'm counting on you, Joshua. That's the last time they'll see each other for a long time. Most likely. people that they have on the inside. Let's 
see now that's that's armor. Let none escape. That, that's actual armor. As you command. You take care of that spellcaster. I'll keep the others occupied. <laughs> I don't know. I seem to have carried that fight. Just saying. That's them done. Are you all right? I'm fine. It's my father and Joshua I'm worried about. We should head back. Hey, look out! Oh man, this music. This dance. He's an Imperial Dragoon. And you are the shield who was blessed by the Phoenix. You squared. Just as an opponent attacks. To parry. I just parried. Not that it will save you! Still, damn you! <laughs> you know, I seem to be better doing a better job at dodging than uh, than my mentor. He just got yeeted. I bet these windows are going to get, like, much, much smaller as the game goes on. The combat is very satisfying. I, I can't wait for the part where I reach the end of the game, and then the final boss takes me six and a half hours, because that's just how final bosses work. <laughs> yes, I'm still a little salty about Mario RPG. Are you hurt? I mean, not Mario RPG. Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. Still an RPG game, but... Oh, man. So... They sent in the dragoons. And they leave you with one HP. Yeah. Do they really mean to invade us? Not yet. Their numbers were too few. They were not here to take the castle. They were here to take heads. Our work is done. We should return to my father. My lord, look. We issued these sashes but yesterday. In Rosalith. If they were already among us, what if there were others? Father and Joshua are in danger. We must hurry. Take your steed. Mm hmm. <sighs> oh, what is this? What is that? Any, any law? No. Um, the Imperial Army. Rodney Murdoch. Okay, we got a little bit to learn here. The commander outrank only by the Archduke. Okay. Trustworthy. Trustworthy, dude. The assembled force of the Holy Empire of San Brec. While officially under the command of the Cardinals, it is the Holy Emperor Sylvester Lesage whom the legions truly serve. On the battlefield, 
the Dragoon's peerless lances, renowned throughout the realm, are the Empire's keenest weapon descending from the skies to sow sorrow and disarray among their hapless foes. Okay, firstborn, though all expected him to inherit the Phoenix's flames and awaken as its dominant, Destin in Destiny instead chose his younger brother Joshua to bear that burden. In search of a role of his own, Clive dedicated himself to mastering the blade, and his practice paid off when he was first he was when he was appointed first shield of Rosaria, tasked to guard the Phoenix, and blessed with the ability to wield a part of his fire. Right, okay. It's alright, they didn't say anything. Just sort of like whispered something. Just creepy undertone. He's fine, it would seem. Right. Thank goodness. Aw, doggo. Your grace, is everyone safe? For the moment. Uh-oh. We ride for Rosalith to rally our forces. I will need your help to see Joshua safely back to the capital. Whose help? On you get Joshua. Father might die here. Yep. Father? I'm sorry, Your Grace, but that won't be possible. Oh. You, you are the snakes. Stay back. I'm warning you. Run, Joshua. Run. No. Hey. Shit. Holy shit. Oh my god. <laughs> Fucking hell. I mean, I expect his father to die, but not like that. Jeez. Control it. Stop this. He's lost control. I have to do something. I have to save him. No, my lord. Fall back. Clive. Oh, no. Dude, this is really dark. I mean, I'm into it. Joshua, are you in pain? Ah! Uh, not now. Come on, you're his shield. Do your duty. Ah! Jeez. Save him. My lord? Impossible. 
Oh, okay. He just got deleted. Another one of these chosen ones that can transform, I guess. Like the Phoenix, that's what he's supposed to be. Fire, aim, evade. Okay, I can't. This music. Oh man. No, no explanation for that is. These cinematic evades. <laughs>
Jeez, it's not over yet. Couldn't hit him once. Damnation in five, four, three, two, <laughs> like. Okay, he's still gonna do it. Oh, come on, that's horseshit. I didn't take a single point of damage, and then it's just like, not nope, sorry. Cool fight, though. The music. I had to get an orchestra and <laughs> everything. Okay, any context? No extra context right now. That was such a cool sequence. Oh, come on. Man. Quite a mess that monster made. Damn shame about the Phoenix, but can't be helped. My condolences, Your Grace. Is there aught we can do? She set us up. Haven't you done enough, Captain? 
Joshua was my world. And now he is gone. Context. Okay. Wife of Archduke Elwyn and mother to Clive and Joshua. It was not only her beauty, but her connection to a bloodline that produced many uh, the pre many previous dominants of the Phoenix that led to her being proposed as a bride for the young Archduke indeed. The two are cousins. Uh, yep, much like any royal family. <laughs> Bit of that going on. All right. Having known from a young age that her purpose in life was to preserve her phoenix-bearing bloodline, she dotes on Joshua and scorns Clive. Um, we already read about the Imperial. Okay. I can only pray there will be a place for me in the world his radiance seeks to create. I got the feeling she, like, orchestrated the shit. We'll see. Your Grace, over here. Let's see the reaction to this. The rubble must have protected him from the worst of the flames. Shall we take him prisoner? No need for that. Kill him. Hmm. Wait. As my husband never tired of telling me, he is a fine soldier. I'm sure he would make an excellent addition to the Imperial front line. Yep. All in its right place. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but like... <laughs> like, yeah, that was that was impactful, but that that just looks silly. It did. Cuz they they couldn't uh, they couldn't show like a full beheading. So the you know, they were going with full force and then they slowed down at the end. There's more lore now. Hang on. Right, so it, now it's like, oh, it was her. It was ever her purpose to preserve the bloodline, for which reason she betrayed her husband that she might enter in league with a force she judged the mightier, the Holy Empire of Sandbrook. It was Annabella's treachery that led to the disaster at Phoenix Gate. So... The boon Joshua bestowed upon his brother upon Clive's ordination as first shield, allowing him to wield fire aspected magic without a crystal. It has long been custom in Rosaria for the dormant of the Phoenix to share a part of their power in this way, performing the rite of rejuvenation upon those they appoint as their protectors that they might serve them the better. Okay. Yeah, that, that just looks silly. You're going to be a soldier. Joshua. Holy shit. <laughs> Title drop. Clap, clap, clap. <laughs> Man. That was a two hour intro. Oh, they branded his face. Okay. Thirteen years later. So what, he's 28 now? Welcome back. Sorry. What's our situation? Let's just say Shiva and Titan's little spat hasn't made things any easier. But I mean, yeah, I, I could tell that she was going to betray just that scene in the bedroom, you know. And it speaks volumes when um Crusaders have sounded the retreat. He was like, I'm just gonna go to bed. 
and would also like just talk shit about her behind her back. It's just like that was that was just a whole mess right there. I'll take my chances with the Iron Blood. At least then I might die fighting. After you do, that is. I won't be dying. Not today. Then it's settled. No dying. Now, if you don't mind, we have an army to chase. I reckon he's already dead on the inside. Iconic abilities, Scarlet Cyclone and Heat Wave for the Phoenix now available for acquisition. How do they expect us to kill? Wow, that looks cool. can do Fireblade. Yeah, instant recovery. That's what we want. Just anything that's like good for combat. All right, that's it. Something that can do this. They don't. Only the girl holding its leash. I'll focus on melee. I like melee combat. It feels very fluid. <sighs> All the old trails are gone. It'll be hell finding a way out. So you know, that was very uh, Game of Thrones like <laughs> that whole that whole prologue. I mean, yeah, that's just had everything, didn't it? A massacre, a betrayal, a child that's been cast aside. It's its own thing, but you know, I, I just couldn't help but think. Down there. So, Titan has knocked the fight out of our Iron Blood friends. Where are the rest of them? That can't be the main host. Wait. In what? Bitter. Our fortunes have turned, Sergeant. It's her, the dominant. Are you certain? The crystalline orthodox is a backward. No, it's very good. I, I, I like this direction it's taken. And you know, they teach the dominance. The last time I played this was with lightning, so this is very different in tone and gameplay. And it's cool. I like it. From what I've heard, um, the remake of Seven is plays like this, not in the same gritty style, but like the gameplay is similar in terms of action combat. Might be worth visiting that at some point. Because <laughs> the remake is, is not so much like a... Like a remake. It's more of its own thing, from what I've heard. Jeez. Almost like an alternate... Uh, timeline. Or ex I don't know. I haven't played it. But I've heard that it's, it's not a one-to-one. -one. Now, King, I'll add Scully. 
Just look who it is. Gotta add it to the list of games to play. I mean... As much as I... I would want to do that, it would, wouldn't be for a while. Like... These games are at least 100 hours, and I just... I can play games that go for that long, but not back to back you know that's why after breath of the wild and tears of the kingdom i needed a little bit of a break before i started something more hefty again that's why we did um mario and luigi and you know like a dragon like a dragon was like a, a pretty good sweet spot At some point, I'll 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 get back to the Yakuza, like the main line. So. Icons. <laughs> Suddenly, it gone to harder combat. Get parried. Finally. I mean, how strong is she that, like, you know, have to have multiple people attacking? Lost. <laughs> As she fought, she shed tears of ice, which shattered on the bloodstained earth below. Any law? Shiva. The Warden of Ice, whose appearance on the battlefield makes her enemies' blood run cold. The Iron Blood sent Shiva against the Republican forces in the Nysa Delphile, no, Defile, where she dueled against Titan, the Icon of Earth. Beating her while she's down. That can't be helped. Okay, the Bastards, a unit of Imperial Army Assassins tasked with taking the head of the Iron Kingdom's dominant, Warden of Ice, and vessel for the Icon Shiva. All of its members, including its leader, Tiamat, are bearers, branded men pressed into servitude for their ability to wield magic. A branded soldier. Bearers forced to fight for the nations that enslave them. Able to cast powerful magics, yet entirely disposable. They are often placed on the front lines in battle, or assigned to highly dangerous scouting or assassination missions. And where we currently are, a deep, arid valley located in the eastern part of the Dalmecian Republic. During the Battle of the Twin Realms in 865, it was a site of repeated skirmishes as the Iron Kingdom attempted to make incursions into Dalmecian territory. Okay. Is she dead? I don't think so. Well, what are you waiting for?
familiar face. No, no, that's not you. Not here. I'll bloody do it then. Holy shit. I bet they're axing themselves. Who the fuck was that? <laughs> Jill Warwick. Born a princess of the Northern Territories, Jill was made a ward of Rosaria after her homeland's incessant raids were quelled by the duchy. She was raised in Rodalus Castle along with Clive and Joshua, who came to love her as a sister. When she waved the brothers farewell, on the day they departed for Phoenix Gate, little did she know of the misfortune that awaited both of them and her. Okay. We've got company, Wyvern. What the hell are you doing? Lord Ohida Vegra! <laughs> Get your ass over here and help me with these bastards! I'm sorry, Jill. What is wrong with you, Wyvern? Dominant. I know her. Know her. Look around you. Oh, that attack's cool. I need you here. I don't know. So far, um, my head count is like twelve. What's yours, dude? Uh, what zero? Now that that's done, I won't ask you again, Wyvern. I'm about to make it 13. I, I can't. I won't. You would betray the Holy Empire? Betray? I don't recall ever pledging allegiance to your Emperor. My service may have been bought with this brand, but not my loyalty. I just fight to survive. And you think I don't? The Empire will have our heads if we return empty-handed. So if you won't take hers, I'll have to take yours. Really? How's how's that going for you? And neither is she. Let's find out. <laughs> it just I find that lunging works really well. I've always had a name, and I've not forgotten it. Still clinging to the past like a torn blanket. Then you will die, as you should have 13 years ago. Whoops. <laughs> For nothing. No one. And I will not fall by your hand. <laughs> no, you'll fall by my sword. Dickhead. I love the fanfare music. Uh, 
I don't know, I feel like were the piles of bodies that I created not an indication of how that was going to go for him? <laughs> Sorry. Luigi to the rescue. Get out. It's the doggo. All grown up. This way. Uh, Bloody wind. Well, come on then. Where have I heard his voice? He's the fucking voice of Lorath in Diablo 4, that's why. I recognized the voice, I was like, where have I heard it? It's been recent. It's Lorath from Diablo 4. Oh, it's Backstabia. You put the Ice Queen on her back. No doubt. But you'll have to work harder if you're to claim this prize. My lady, the thunder. <laughs> With the fancy cigarette, yeah. You always were a fucking snake set. Gather the men. We have work to do. Jill, is it really you? Doggo. And who's this fine hound I see before me? A fine hound who saved your life, that's who. Torgal. Hey. His name is Torgal. You two acquainted? Well then, you won't mind taking him off my hands. Funny. I'd always pictured you as more of the chocobo type. Clive Rosfield. Come now. Fleet as flame, fierce as a wildfire. That there was the blessing of the Phoenix. I'd heard rumors that you'd survived, but I never paid them much heed. The dog is doing pretty good for 13. I mean, maybe it's not... <laughs> maybe it's not a wolf wolf, maybe it's some Come special breed that's mug. just now not there. quite yeah. the same as what we know it. She seemed worth muddy in my boots. Maybe it could be like a wolf that survives for a hundred years, who knows? I mean, we have giant creatures that look like chickens, but they're not chickens. 
None the worse for wear. Still, might be best to get a second opinion. Back her up. No! Oh. Not another step. <laughs> I mean it. Well, I'm not about to leave her here. Not one with a warm bed waiting. This guy's voice, he talks like this. It's all right. All in a deeper register. You're welcome to join us. You do want to help her, don't you? Would you like to have some drinks at the campfire? Uh, Sid, if we aren't back we can so tell stories. <laughs> I'll explain everything once we're back at the highway. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> no, it, it's a good voice. It's just... Yeah. yeah. Very distinct. Yeah, so like, this is serious Game of Thrones vibe, this map. Like, I don't know if that's intentional or not, but you look at it, right? Oh, dude, come on. Like, if I played, if I played the music right now. <laughs> okay, not a bad thing, just pointing it out. Any new law? Current location. Okay. I'm sure we'll, we'll find out about Sid shortly. Okay, before they start talking, there we go. Sidolphus! <laughs> That's the full name. Sidolphus uh, Telemon. Alright, let's find out what happened. Clive's faithful friend, now fully grown, after the tragic events at Phoenix Gate, Clive believed that Toggle was lost to him forever. However, their paths were to cross again some 13 years later, when Toggle's new master, Sid, came to Clive's rescue in the depths of Nysa Defile. Despite their long years apart, the two knew each other as if not a single day had passed since their separation. Sidolphus Talamon, cornered by a battalion of Iron King Crusaders in the depths of Nysa Delph. Defile? Jeez. Clive thought his end was nigh until Sid appeared and spirited Angel away to his secret hideout in the Deadlands. Jill Warwick, dominant of Shiva and Clive's childhood friend in the depths of Nysa Delph. Defile? I keep saying Delphi. Defile. The two came to blows at the orders of the armies that enslaved them. Jill fighting to defend the priests of the Iron Kingdom, Clive obeying the Empire's order to take the head of Shiva's dominant. Exhausted from her tilt with Titan, Jill came close to falling to her assassin's blade, but was spared at the last moment when Clive's memories of their time together came flooding back. Guts uh, doesn't have a last name. One of Sid's trusted allies, a gentle giant who has a warm word for everyone. Barren wastes bereft of ether where no life stirs and magic is all but unusual unusable. Here both earth and water are stained black, preventing any seed from quickening. In recent years the blight has spread ever more widely, displacing whole nations before it, driving once peaceful fauna to violent desperation and leaving silent devastation in its wake. Storm, the Wesley of Valisea's two great continents, with its frozen northern reaches, its temperature, marshy midlands, and searing heat of the south, it boasts a breadth of climes and cultures not seen anywhere else in the known realms. Okay. Not much further now. But we're in the middle of the Deadlands. Keen. I'm trying to like take in the lore, you know? It's not a lot to read. And not everyone does it when they do playthroughs, so. But it also means no neighbors. The last place anyone would think to look. Ho, 
home sweet home. What a beautiful cave. Yeah, I mean, some of this stuff is a little bit lost to me because I, again, the last game in the series I played was like 13. I'm not that familiar with the lore and whatnot, but it's doing an alright job at explaining it. And I've heard that this title's pretty standalone, so. <laughs> this place. These are fallen ruins. Well, we didn't think they'd mind. And it keeps the black from our lungs. But how do you survive without magic? The last one you played was X2. How does so that I'm ahead, ahead of you. Enough. Okay, but like. You must be starving. How many have you played in total? I've played. Hmm? So briefly played four, seven, You're 13, back. and now this one. Ah, so yeah. And this is the dominant. Like, at some point I played for as, as like, a teenager, but I don't, I don't remember anything of it. All right. Goots. Get her upstairs. Well, but none will... Goots? That's how you pronounce it? I've taken care of her fee. All of it. Goots. She's the best healer this side of the belt. You have nothing to worry about. Go on. Have a look around. I'll be in my solar. Played 7, 10, and 10 too. Okay, so it's like about the same number of games. I, I probably shouldn't count four. Does this thing auto save? <laughs> it does not. Oh, that's... that's nice. <laughs> I mean, it's... Uh, yeah, nostalgia. That's cool. That's a cool little pixel out of it. Okay. This is where we're going to leave it for today. As as much as I would like to do more. It's, uh... It's 1.30 in the morning here, and I'm a little spent from the week. But, you know, hope you enjoyed uh, this introduction to Final Fantasy 16. We'll do more of it tomorrow, a more lengthier stream of it, as uh, now Mario and Luigi is done. And uh, I can dedicate a bit more time to this, so we'll, we'll do more of this tomorrow. In the meantime, if you've caught this later on YouTube, thanks for clicking and sticking around to the end. And uh, consider clicking more buttons for algorithm purposes if you want to support the content here. Or maybe two videos have popped up on your screen and maybe you can watch other stuff. I don't know, I, I hear Mario and Luigi was a good playthrough. <laughs> I shouldn't make jokes, it, it, it was alright, it was fine. Anyway, bye YouTube, thanks for tuning in.